Hi guys, Spartan Seven Six Five. Today I'm going to tell you guys what to look for. This is a video upon request of who the fuck sent it. Uh, outdoor guy one two one five. He says he has a few wasps at his local fleet farm. Wasser tens wants to know what to look for in buying one. Now you can get Wasser just as long as you know what to look for. If you get one that's good, it's it'll be a good rifle. But I'd say about you know 60% of them out there have a lot of problems. That's from my experience. But I'm gonna tell you guys what to look for if you got one at your local fleet farm or local gun store. So you can get a good wasser if you get a wasser. Okay, this here's a Lancaster, but you know I'm just going to show you um, what to look for on an AKM. Okay, first we're going to go over the first thing you're going to want to do is the guy's going to give it to you. Just pull the bolt back, make sure it's unloaded. Next step you're going to want to do is the first thing I'd always do is pull the bolt back, let it catch right there. That's normal for it to do that. It shouldn't if you pull it back and let it go forward. This is the second, first thing you're going to want to look for. It's, it should just, when you pull it back, it should go forward freely. It is normal for if you pull it back for it to latch like that. That's a design feature put into the gun so you can clean it easier. Okay, the second thing you're going to want to look for is hold the gun up like this. Aim down the sights, making sure this flat part is level. And then slowly lift your head up like this. And make sure that that front, keeping the gun without rotating the gun, seeing if that front sight post is canted right or left. One or two degrees ain't going to hurt it, but anything over that you're going to want to avoid because your front sight post is going to be way off to the right or the left. It's going to create a shitty sight picture when you sight it in. This here rifle is zeroed completely. Front sight is right in the middle. That's the quality build by Lancaster. Next thing you're going to want to look for is canted gas block. And what you're going to do with the gas block is just generally hold the rifle like this, holding it perfectly you know, if you don't want to use the sights at all for the uh, to see if the gas blocks can, and just hold it like this, and then go up like that. Look, bring the gun up like this, and you you'll be able to tell if it's off to the side a little bit. Again, a one to two degree ain't gonna hurt it, but excessive can can cause rubbing inside the gas block with the piston. It could cause wear, jamming, and essentially failure of the rifle. Second thing you're gonna want to look for. Personally, I always go with the 1063. Wasser 1063, um, if I get one. The 1063s are the ones that are the new ones that don't have the milled out from the old Wasser 10s. It only took single stack mags. The 1063s also have these um, 45 degree slants on them, a bayonet lug. Um, they won't be welded at all. Um, another thing you're going to want to do is just take it up, take it off, take your receiver cover off, look inside here, make sure everything's mechanically sound functions well, pull the trigger, should work good, pull it back, hold the trigger, release it, make sure your disconnector works, pull it back, release it, hold the trigger, give the disconnector a couple checks, works, put your receiver cover back on, safety works, okay. Next thing I like to check for in washers that I've seen on a few of them are the stocks will wobble. An AK-47 or AK AKM stock is not supposed to wobble. This here is tight in here. I actually have to use a palm list in the ground to get into my Lancaster. That's how it should be, real tight. You don't want any wobble in that stock at all. Same with the front uh, hand guard right here, or the forehand right here. Hand guard though, for the gas tube, that is normal for that to wobble a little bit. That's 100% normal. Don't worry about that at all. Um, another thing you could check for, which is very, very rare, but it has been seen before on a couple of Wassers and a couple of other AK manufacturers, if they don't press the barrel correctly into the receiver, they can actually bend the barrel. So um, it's always good to open it up, take a bore light down there, look in the barrel, make sure it's straight, and everything like that. Um, also, when you're doing that, most Wassers do have new American-made barrels, but it is always a good idea to check the inside of the barrel, make sure there's no pitting and to make sure that the crown on the barrel, that's where the rifling ends, is not burred or anything like that, or worn. If your crown is worn, you're going to have shitty accuracy. Um, as far as that goes, that's my bid on what to look for in buying an AK-47 or AKM rifle. Spartan 765 out.